Vets Hall, Junk Removal Stafford, Virginia. Hope wherever you are, you're staying busy making money in junk removal. We're staying in Stafford, Virginia this morning. Veteran reached out to us. He just moved into his place. Got a ton of cardboard boxes, old packing and moving material. We're going to go knock that out. Should, should be about 30 minutes. Show you the job when we get there. Uh, I spoke to two different junk removal entrepreneurs in the last two days. And both of them reached out to me and wanted to know my opinion on call centers, basically paying an outside service to answer your calls, engage with, sell, and close the customer, and schedule the job for you. Guys, if you just got into junk removal, you don't need a call center. Vets Hall Junk Removal has been in operation, at least here in the Stafford, Virginia location, for five years, almost past my turn, for five years. I've never used a call center. I answer all of my own telephone calls. And we're busy here in Stafford, Virginia, as we are in our other three locations. Our local owners don't use call centers. Though we are busy, guys, we still have plenty of time to answer our own phone calls. One entrepreneur said, you know, is it manageable to be in the field and doing jobs and taking calls and engaging with the customer? I said, by all means it is. Uh, in my opinion, that's the only way to do it, guys, until you reach the upper echelons of junk removal success. Like, in my opinion, once you have you know, 40, 50, 60 locations, then the individual business owners that are still in the truck, sure, you should still be taking calls, but you should have a backup source or a way so that when you're not able to take a call, let's say, I don't know how call centers work, but you know, maybe very similar to uh, answering services. Maybe if you don't answer your call in the first, you know, four rings, maybe then the call center kicks in. But the vast majority of us guys in the beginning and medium stages, and I still consider myself with four locations in the medium stage of building my junk removal empire, I don't think we need it. First off, it's an added expense that you don't need. And I don't care how cheap or inexpensive you know, the surfaces, you don't need it. Save your nickels and dimes. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need financial resources when any of the typical junk removal challenges present their ugly little faces to you. You know, maybe you you blow your engine or I don't know, anything could happen. But I just don't think that like 95% of us do not need an answering service. I've been in the business five years, like I said, never once have I seen the need to have a call center take my calls. So I put together a little list of the reasons why I believe we don't need a call center. And these are the reasons I gave the individuals that I spoke to last night. First off guys, when you hand over control to a call center, you're doing just that. You're handing over control. You don't wanna do that early on and I still don't wanna do that five years later because you have to know how to train people and that means you as the owner have to be the expert in all facets of your junk removal business. And a lot of us aren't born natural salesmen so that means you have to develop your customer engagement, your customer closing, your customer sales skills, okay, building rapport with the customer. And you won't get that guys if you hand over control to a call center to engage with the customer for you. Once you develop your skills and you're a master at closing the sale and engaging with the customer, making million dollars a year, by all means. I would say that maybe you wanna look for a call center, but right now, 95% of us don't. There was also a study done by the MIT Sloan School of Management that said outsourcing to a call center, at least an overseas call center, produces decreased customer satisfaction. And you can look it up yourself, guys. I'm not gonna go into why, but one of the reasons why is because a call center isn't really, doesn't really know your company culture. You know, I spent a long time developing the way we do things, our company philosophy at Vets Hall Junk Removal. Value over everything else, extreme customer satisfaction. We go the extra mile, which means in person when we arrive at the job site, but also means on the telephone. That's part of our culture. There's much more that entails the Vets Hall Junk Removal culture. But if I'm gonna pay someone that I probably never met, or even if I did meet the individual that's actually gonna be answering my calls, there's a strong possibility that that person will not share the same values and know our culture that we live by at Vets Hall Junk Removal. So you give up 
control that way. They're not going to be familiar with your company culture. On top of that, you know, if you're outsourcing to a call center, there's a possibility that the agent's focus may be divided. If they're answering, if they're providing call center services for multiple junk removal companies, you know, they're not going to be devoted because they do this day in and day out, guys. This is your business. If it succeeds or fails, you're not going to be able to say, well, it's because our call center, you know, doesn't have the same level of dedication that we do here boots on the ground in Stafford, Virginia. So they only care about you paying on time. If they don't close a customer on a specific call, do you really think it's any sweat off their nose? For me, it is because that translates into lost dollars and cents for them. It doesn't translate into anything because at 5 p.m. they go home. Um, there's also a lack of belonging to the company, guys. One of the greatest assets in creating the bond with the customer is the fact that when I'm talking with the customer, occasionally somebody asks, well, will it be you who's coming to my home? And I probably say, yes, it will, ma'am. I'm Joseph and I'm gonna be one of the individuals who arrives at your home to provide you over the top customer service. As a call center agent, they can't say that. And when even when the customer doesn't inquire about who's gonna show up at their home, whether it's me or not, I always ensure, guys, I always ensure that I still find a way to let the customer know, ma'am, when we arrive at your home today to remove, you know, to clean out your garage, I'm gonna be one of the individuals that arrives at your home. I can't wait to meet you. Guys, that's powerful. You don't get that with a call center. Um, does it make your company more professional to contract with a call center and their services? I don't think so, guys. It's really the customer's call how professional I am because they're the ones who's going to judge me. They're the ones who are going to rate me, okay? And you can be just as professional, if not more, than a call center because... Your butt is on the line, guys. If you don't make this junk removal company produce, guys, you will be out of business in a very short amount of time. So it behooves you to be as professional, to learn to, to develop your level of sales ability, connecting with a customer, building rapport, and professionalism. Because this is your company, this is your butt, and if you fail, it's going to be on you not the call center. So, did I miss any? Not to mention that, you know, guys, most call centers can be expensive. And that's just an added expense that I don't need right now. I've not seen a reason why I would be in five years in the junk removal industry and producing extremely well. We've established ourselves here in Stafford, Virginia, and it's not just me. I'm not a fluke, guys. Every one of my locations has not found the need to have the services of a call center. And I talk to a lot of junk removal entrepreneurs, those who haven't yet made the leap into owning a junk removal business, those who have been in the junk removal industry for a very short time, and those who have been in the junk removal, removal industry for a long time and are doing very well. They don't use call centers, guys. So I'm telling you, the same things that I told the two entrepreneurs who reached out to me literally today and day before yesterday. I think there are better ways of which you can you can spend your money. Call center is not one of them. But if you do decide to identify some call centers that you are maybe thinking of contracting with, ask them for a list of individuals that they have worked with in the past, provided services with in the past, or provided services for in the past that no longer work with them. Any, any call center worth their salt should have no problem providing you with a list of telephone numbers of junk removal companies that you can reach out to and merely call them. Guys, if you're like me, you're gonna call all of them because I'm OCD and ask them, I understand you worked with this company that provides call center services, used to answer your telephone call, and you're no longer working with them, might I ask you why you're no longer working with them? You know, were you not satisfied uh, or what have you? Guys, my advice to you is based on experience in all types of different 
sales, arenas, military recruiting, car sales, I mean, you name it, junk removal, you name it, I've done it for the last 25 years, okay? Everything that a call center can provide you with, can do for you, you can do for yourself. And if you find that maybe you just don't have the time to answer your own telephone calls, I strongly believe in developing from within. Find an employee, find your spouse, find someone you work with who maybe has a niche, who maybe is trainable, can learn and develop a leader in your own organization who can take calls, engage with a customer, close the deal and schedule that job so that you keep it in-house and you increase the overall value of your company. If you like the type of things I talk about, would you subscribe to my channel on top of that? If you're in Northern Virginia and you have stuff that you need to have removed, you can reach out to the junk removal company powered by veterans and patriots at 540-657-VETS. That's 540-657-VETS. We can be found online at vetshalljunk.com. That's vetshalljunk.com. I'm going to show you what we're taking. Stay tuned. So here we are, guys. It's a you know, significant pile, but uh, most of the boxes are not broken down. So it looks to be a lot more than what it really is. Give you a, a little bit of an idea what it looks like from further back. There you go. Not bad, like I said. And this is probably be closer to 15 to 20 minutes. Rock, 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 rock,